Hi, in today's video, I am going to be decorating a tear tray for the first time. I've seen them on YouTube so many times and I always just love the way they always look. I just never really thought it was my thing, but I decided to give it a try this year. Um, so I purchased this gold tear tray from Target. I believe it was like 20 or $25. Um, and it's more of my decor, more than like the traditional farmhouse tear tray. So when I saw this one, I was really excited to get my hands on it, especially because it was the last one. And I'm so happy to be filming. It's been a while since I've actually filmed and I'm just glad to be back doing something I love. And here are some items that I purchased to go on my tray. I got these florals from Hobby Lobby and I just really like the colors on them. I like the orange and the browns. And then this apple was from Dollar Tree and I absolutely love it. They had them in red and uh, green, like a Granny Smith green. But when I went back to get more, they were gone. But I'm just happy that I was able to get those two. But yeah, Dollar Tree, like sometimes when you find something there, you definitely just have to jump on it because then you'll be running around trying to find them. And I got this from Dollar Tree as well, but I got this last year. It just says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. I might put that in it since it has some gold in it. And I really love this bowl. So I got this bowl from Walmart. It was about three bucks and it goes really well with my McKinsey child's decor in my kitchen. And it looks way more expensive than $3. And this candle, which is a warm apple pie, smells really good. Um, that was also from Walmart. I'm not going to burn it obviously because it's going to be in the middle of my tear tray But it also goes with the black and white that I really like and then I wanted to add some copper elements So I got these from Hobby Lobby, I believe and they were 40% off um, full decor so that was awesome and I just love that look I also got a pot as well, but I'm not gonna put that on the tray because that just might be overkill but I got these um, also from Hobby Lobby. And they just came in a bag. But I liked this, these colors. They did have other colors as well. As well as this pick, um, which from Hobby Lobby. And I got a few of those because I made a wreath to go on my kitchen door. Which I'll show you later in another video. But it's really cool. You just stick those picks in. And I like the way that turned out. And then these came from Tar Target Dollar Spot and they have like Halloween theme on it. So it's kind of like a fall Halloween slash tray. Well, not quite Halloween, but I don't want to do just all um, fall and have to take down for Halloween and then have to take down for Christmas. So in my house, I'm doing a lot of decor where it's just fall slash Halloween. And then that also came from Hobby Lobby as well. So I'll get right into the video. Thanks for watching.
as you can see, I struggled quite a bit trying to figure out where I wanted things to go. Um, but it's okay to just play with them and take things out and put it back and just see what works best for you or what you like best. Um, but eventually at the end, I do like that the way that it came out. with the way it turned out especially because it's the first time that I've decorated a tear tray so I think I might be doing these in the future um, I can't wait to see what my Christmas tear tray is gonna come out to be but I really like this and um, I'm just really pleased with the way it came out and if you like these type of videos where I just do a little home decor, mom life, I would really just appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel or give this a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.